This is Pars Will, I also go by Will, and this is like my sixth take trying to do this because my neighbors have a very excitable dog and he has been barking up a storm despite the fact that I'm recording this at 11 at night. So if you hear any sounds in the background, it is probably going to be him. Alright, I don't really know what I'm going to title this video. And there he goes. As I was saying, I don't really know what I'm going to title this video. Uh, it's kind of an update video, kind of not an update video, kind of me just talking and babbling about things. So to start off, the art that I'm recording over is super old. Like, it is from 2019 old, it is from before I swapped to Clip Studio Paint, you can tell because it's still got a Photoshop stuff uh, logo on the top left hand corner. This is very, very old. I found it in my archives and apparently I hadn't used it yet, so I'm using it for this, I guess just so that I can, like, put something over this audio. Um, and I think, honestly, it is very interestingly appropriate for what I am doing, because what I am talking about is my recent Speechless Speed Paint uploads and what I've sort of learned with the new Clip Studio Paint update recently and how that affects my video progress. So, as I mentioned in my January-February 2021 video update, uh, I've moved and I don't have a desk anymore, uh, I also don't have a Cintiq anymore, so my recording system is a little bit different because I no longer have the same sort of setup, and uh, as I said with my windows, I have these weird situations where the window doesn't record everything like it does in Photoshop or Clip Studio on my Cintiq, or how it used to, it only records like a singular window, like this one canvas, which leaves a lot of black space there, and it's not super appealing. Um, I have, for the last couple of Speechless Speed Paint uploads, been testing out a new strategy, which is, during the time I'm recording this, this is past the December 2020 update for Clip Studio Paint, so it has been able to do time lapses, and I thought maybe I could, I could record the Clip Studio Paint time lapses and use those for my speed paints. So I decided to give it a shot, but the one thing is that the time lapses are only maybe, um, like, maybe 30 seconds long. It is, like, 10 times the speed, so if it's, like, it takes me a half an hour to do a headshot, then it reduces it down to 30 seconds. And normally that would be great, especially for like posting on Instagram or posting on Twitter or something like that. But unfortunately, slowing down a time lapse is not the same as speeding up a recording from OBS. It gets real wonky, real weird, and you can see even on this old recording that I did with the Photoshop uh, time lapses because my process was always the same. You can see my individual strokes. Uh, while you may or may not be able to see my mouse, depending on how the recording software uh, works and which program I'm using and at what time, you can clearly see my strokes and it's not choppy, it's just sped up. But I don't know if anyone has noticed on my latest uh, Speechless Speed Paint videos that have been done with the time lapse, they've been a bit choppy recently and it's been a little bit rough. Now, I haven't quite figured out a way to uh, even that out yet, uh, besides maybe recording with OBS at the same time as doing the time lapse, or trying to figure out what I want in terms of, like, posting uh, a, maybe a time lapse and not having a recording or something like that. I, I don't really know, but I will figure that out, and I think that it was a good starting point for trying to uh, figure out what I want to do with my new setup. Unfortunately, what I tried wasn't it, and sometimes that happens. Now, what am I going to do moving forward, since I still have a lot of time-lapse time footage, and I do kind of want to use it, I don't like things going to waste, so I do want to see if I can give that a shot. Well, I still have a few things that I would like to experiment with, so I'm going to try a few things with the time-lapse footage. Maybe I'll put a few different time-lapses in one video, we'll see how it goes. Um, regardless, I will see what I can experiment with in the future videos, 
but I don't think I'm going to be doing any more of the t slowed down time lapses because I just don't like how choppy they look. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Do you guys really care? Uh, I personally don't like putting out a thing that isn't as quality as I would like to watch, so I, yeah, I technically, I guess it doesn't really matter if you guys care if I'm not super happy with the product, but would you guys want to see multiple speed paints in one video if I stack them together with time lapse? Um, because I have found that I do enjoy the time lapse feature, it's just not super ideal for what I want to do with these YouTube videos. Um, maybe I should, uh, record at the same time as during my time lapse, I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, and let me know what your opinions are and stuff, especially since I know that, especially with the speech speed paints, there's not really a lot of content to comment on, so let me know what you guys have been feeling, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for your time.